Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to create this long shadow effect. First open a new document, make sure the stroke is set to none and let's create a background. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Then open the gradient panel and choose white and black gradient. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Now select the type tool and type your text. Make sure your text is selected and now right click with your mouse and choose create outlines. Then right click again and choose ungroup. Next select everything, go to object, compound path and choose make or press the control and number 8 keys on your keyboard. When you open the sublayers, you can see the new compound path layer. We will create two more copies of this layer. First go to edit and select copy or press the control and C keys on your keyboard. Then go to edit again and choose paste in back or press the control and B keys on your keyboard. And here is our second copy. Let's make one more copy. Next we will change the color of each copy. With the bottom layer still selected, change the fill to white. Select the layer above and change its fill to gray. Now select the top layer, which we can actually see, and change its color to a lighter shade of gray. When I turn off the visibility of the top layer, you can see the gray layer underneath and the white layer below it. Next we will blend the two bottom layers together to create a shadow. First select the bottom layer and then pressing down one of the arrow keys move it to a desired position. The distance between these two layers will determine the length of a shadow. With the bottom layer still selected, hold down the shift key and select the above layer. Then go to object, blend, blend options, change the spacing to specified steps and type a fairly large number. Then go to object one more time, blend and choose make. Illustrator created a blend layer. Notice that the white color looks a bit too harsh. We want to get a smooth fading transition between these two layers. To do that, select both sublayers in the blend layer and then open the transparency window. Now set the blending mode to multiply. If you like, you can still make changes. Select the background layer and adjust the slider. Drag any color you wish to the slider, change the direction or select the top text layer and change its color as well. Let's change the text color to blue and the background color to the same blue as well. If you would like to create similar effect on a black background, you will have to make a few changes. First select the blend layer, make sure that both sublayers are selected, then go to the transparency window and change the blending mode back to normal. Now select the bottom white layer and change the fill to black. If you would like to change the shadows color, select the top sublayer in the blend layer and change it to whatever color you wish. Let's select the background layer and change its color to black. Now select the top text layer and change its color to black as well. Let's lock the background layer to prevent it from shifting. And you can experiment with adding a different color or gradient to your shadow. First select the top sublayer in the blend layer group and add any color you like to the gradient slider. You can also change the direction and the length of your shadow. To do this, select the bottom sublayer 
In the Blend Layer group, switch to the Direct Selection tool, click on the selected layer, hold and drag to reposition it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.